Once we have seen the theory of request dispatcher and send redirect, let's implement them. In fact, we in the last video, we have implemented request dispatcher, right? The practical video. Now let's implement redirect. So the idea of what we are going to do here is we have a page when, in which you will be asking for two values. The moment you click on submit, it will send a request to add. And when you send a request to add, it will call this add servlet. That's what we have configured in the XML file. And once you call this, it will call do get method because we are sending a get request. Then you'll be passing these two values. I mean, you're, you're fetching these two values, you're adding it, and then you are setting the data in the request object so that when you fire a request or when you send a request to a next, next tablet, which is SQ, by using a request dispatcher, you can simply forward by passing a request. And using the same request object on the second servlet, what we are doing is we are fetching it from the request object, we are storing in a variable, and then we are performing the operation and print it. Now in this video, we'll try to do the same thing, but with the help of some other thing, which is send redirect. Now, how do we do that? So what I will do is I will come in this section. The thing is, I, how do I call uh, a second servlet? Because we, without this thing, you cannot call them. So that's a question. How do we do that? So what we'll do here is now, since uh, we are not sending a request object, let's remove this because in send redirect, we don't do that. So we have a response object. So we'll say, response dot send redirect because in this scenario what you're doing is this servlet which is add servlet is sending a response to a client by saying this uh, response dot send redirect by saying hey client just go to square servlet that's what you have to do go to a square servlet now a client will send a request to the square servlet let's see what is happening behind the scene so I will right click here i will say run as a run server Let's go back to Firefox and here I would say any number doesn't matter. So I would say 8, 7 and 5, click on submit. You can see we got an error. It says null point exception do get. What's that? In the SQ servlet, we have the issue. The issue is not with the add servlet, the issue with the SQ servlet. Now, if you observe the URL, it is SQ because what is happening is you are sending a request to add, but your add servlet says, hey, go to SQ. So your client is sending a request to SQ. And if you see, uh, the, so send redirect is a method belongs to response object and you simply say redirect to SQ. Now the issue is you can see in the request dispatch uh, in, the, in the request object, you are trying to fetch the object. Of course, we are not sending a request object. Then how can you use the same object here? That's why you got, you got that null point exception. But basically, let's not try to do all these things. We'll try, we'll, we'll do this once more with the another example. But then here, let me just try to print something so that, you know, I will get some output at least on the console. Yeah, nothing somewhere, maybe on the console, I would say SQ called just to see if, if th this subject is getting called or not. Uh, I will restart my server once I do, did that change. And I will go back to my browser and refresh send. And you can see it is able to call SQ by doing nothing. You can see we are, not getting, we are not getting anything on the page. But if you see the console, in the console we got SQ called. So yes, we are able to call the second servlet from the first servlet. And the, there is one way, one way you can verify this. The request is going to SQ. That means this is the second request, not the first request. So in total, a client is sending two requests. Add request and a SQ request. Now the point is, how will you send a data? Because that's important for me, right? I want to send this data. Okay, now what if I will go back there and I will uncomment this? Because I want to, of course, I want to calculate this thing, right? And the way you can get that is, let's say, because we are not sending data in the request object, so I cannot say get, get attribute. But how about, think about this, if I say get parameter, will this work? So I would say get parameter and I would say data is coming from, let's say, K itself, okay? I, I mean, of course, we are not sending data, but uh, let's try, let's try, let's do some experiment here. And I would say request object dot get parameter. I'm expecting that the data is coming in the K format. Normally, when you say get parameter, the parameter comes from in a request, you know, is it a get request? Then it, if it is a get request, it will be coming from the browser address, you, you all remember? If it is a post request, then a different way of fetching data, but the data should be coming from the client. But let's try. So what I will do is I would say, uh, I have to convert that. Of course, I have to say integer dot pass int and I will convert whatever, whatever coming on the way. So the value of K will be converted into int and you're calculating it. Now let's verify. I will go back to my server as usual, restart it, go back to the browser and refresh. 
the moment you click on submit again we got the same problem right number format exception because the data which you are getting is null and you cannot format it but what if just after the question mark after the sq if i say question mark and k equal to 9 case that it worked the moment you pass a value in the url it worked because the second servlet is asking for a value from the parameter and normally when you say parameter it's a, it's a do get request so of course the data is coming from the from the url and that's why it is working but what if i want to make it work without even changing the sq i mean the address bar or the url in that case what if in the add servlet itself i can give a question mark here and i will say k is equal to plus k i mean think about it the, the response which a client will get is a new url which is sq question mark k equal to whatever the value you're passing let's try with this i will restart the server and i will i will submit the same value 75 click on submit can you see that it worked and in the address bar if you can see sq question mark k equal to 12. so that's one way you can pass a value from one servlet to another servlet with redirect because in redirect what is happening is this servlet which is add servlet is responding to the client by saying hey client go to sq and the url mentioned k equal to 12 because the value of k is 12 and the same thing is requested by the client so this is requ requested by the client thanks to add servlet and this is what you're getting now this type this technique comes under session management again we'll discuss session management in a theory video but then we have a concept of session management where you can transfer data from one servlet to another servlet with the help of three concepts one of them is session one of them is cookies and the thing which we have used a here is called as url rewriting because you are changing your url and that's why it is called as url rewriting so that's that's one of the way again we have two more ways one is session one is cookie so we'll discuss that in one of the video in session management but here we have worked with redirect and that's how you forward the request so yeah that's it from this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section if you if you have any questions and so that i can make i can clear that in the next video so that's it thank you so much for watching everyone and i hope you're supporting me on youtube by clicking on the like button and share this video with your friends thank you so much for watching